on one of the longest crossings in the world. We're gonna listen for pops and cracks now, eh? Art Burke's trying to keep his 25-ton load above ice. Ooh, that was a good one. You hear that one? That must be one of them big that shoots across like lightning, eh? You see them all over the place. Halfway through the journey, Art reaches the deepest stretch of the lake, where the water below descends to over 200 feet. So not only if I get through this, will I probably get dragged, but I'll ruin the ice road for all these people that need this to get back and forth and everything. So, like, it's not just me that gets it when I get through this. We'll ruin everything, eh? So we're just gonna mosey over here. Oh, wow! Whoa! open, buddy. Just in case, eh? The best thing to do if you hear a crack and a pop and she starts to go down is just out that door as quick as you can, man. Hope for the best. As he approaches the crossing's edge, the ice is at its thinnest. and his maxed out haul pushes the brittle surface to the limit. When you get to the end like this, you want to go faster. If you're nearing the end, I don't know, just instinct or something makes you want to go faster, right? But you can't do that. You got to go the same speed, and when you get to the end, you even got to slow down more. Come on, baby. Take deep. <laughs> okay. Finally, Art makes it to the other side. We're in Garden Hill, buddy. We're in Garden Hill. And after 10 miles of ice, the load is on the books for Poland. 